this is a review of Ocarina of Time Master Quest. Now, for those of you who don't know, um, Master Quest was previously released only in Japan for players who had completed the original Ocarina of Time who wanted a more challenging version of the game. Uh, but it's since been re-released over in over um, in the rest of the world a couple of times. Once on the GameCube and then again on the Ocarina remake on the 3DS. Um, and in essence, the only difference in the game is that the dungeons have been altered to be more challenging. Although, to be fair, a number of them are actually easier. Um, for example, the the Fire Temple dungeon, you only do around half of it in Master Quest as opposed to the whole lot in the original quest. Um, and, and the other difference is that you take double damage, so if you'd normally take hearts worth of damage, you'll now take two, etc, etc. But that's it, everything outside of the dungeon is the same. Outside of the dungeons is the same, you play the dungeons in the same order. Um, and it's not actually that difficult. I've completed it twice. I did a playthrough of it recently and it was pretty fun, but it can be really cryptic at times. Uh, a lot of players have reported having trouble with the, specifically the second dungeon as Child Link. Uh, um, what was it called again? That was it. The Dongo's Cavern, uh, which I had trouble with. But other than that, it really, it really isn't that difficult. Um, and there's no sense in getting one hundred percent completion because outside of the dungeons, it's the exact same deal as the original quest. Um, and it's just a shame it's not been re-released more often because the last time it was re-released was on the Ocarina of Time remake on the three DS. Uh, and yeah, um. I'd give it probably an 8 out of 10 for enjoyability overall. It's pretty good, but it could have been a bit better. Um, and another difference as well is the world is mirrored. So, um, for example, when you come out of Hyrule Castle Town, in the, in the original quest, Kakariko Village would be on the left, but in Master Quest, it's on the right. Um, and... Some of the dungeons as well, you get the items early, or the, you get them later than normal, which can be kind of annoying. But overall, if you like Ocarina of Time, the original quest, and you did it to 100% completion, you'll like Master Quest. So I hope you enjoy this review, and hopefully it'll uh, make you, and hopefully it'll spur you on to maybe give Master Quest a try. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video.